Hi all my truth seekers, this is The Truth Show. I'm Keisha. In this video, I will enlighten you about the crucial distinctions between natural slash real witches and practicing witches. Understanding these differences is key. I will also equip you with the knowledge on how to identify spells and more. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. There seem to be an increase in tarot readers and people claiming to be psychics or witches. Many of these individuals are of Caucasian and Asian descent and minorities are of other races. I selected a few are true witches, but most of them aren't. They are practicing witches, real witches. Yes, real witches mm -hmm, or psychics don't need tarot cards or other tools to read people's future or, or understand their lives. Those items are merely items to convey their messages. They use them to speak, but they don't really need them. Also, the rooted race of witches is of Negro slash African race. Of course, whitewash racism turned the old witches into Caucasian or Asian, any race aside from Negroes or colored. But the rooted races are Negroes slash African slash colored people. It is unfortunate that many coloreds are not knowledgeable of this power especially the christians because they were taught against using crystals or witchcraft the church was using these practices to keep many as sheep and blinded by their power this veil is still prevalent today with that said how can you detect if you're being put under a spell in order to understand when spells are being cast, you must understand its ingredients. For example, a mass popularity spell, you would need some of the following. Cinnamon, linked to prosperity, achievement, and drawing in love source. Basil, stands for protection, love, and cleansing source. Lavender, encourages tranquility and balance and invites positive energy source rose petals signify passion beauty and love source honey denotes attraction happiness and sweetness oh yes guess what my truth seekers did you know that you can get exclusive commercial free videos on my patreon i post my viral and block youtube videos on there and more and stories that i wrote you know i write stories people oh yes i post them on there i'm gonna start doing my video diary on there pretty soon <laughs> yeah i need to communicate with my truth seekers they are lifesavers i love you all oh okay i supposed to be advertising my patreon the link is below but if you want to cast a spell on a vast public, you can put some of these ingredients in your perfume or incense and have the fan going so everyone can smell it. It's a must. Then you will need words or lyrics that the masses hear. Oh yes. Then you would also need some visual effects that could draw the masses in. And then once the spell is completed, you should start to see some of the effects right away. Mm -hmm as Jimi Hendrix and Michael Jackson put it in music, well, this is what they said. They said, and I'm just paraphrasing, you can easily deceive the public with hidden messages and music and lyrics. I've said this many times, but these are greats who said this and it's pretty much true. It's necessary to do this on a public stage or some streaming. Everyone has to hear this, okay? in order for the spell to be casted. Now, this is a popularity spell, people. Real witches. Okay, first of all, to begin with authentic witches, they don't dress like witches and never boast about their status to strangers. They have a typical appearance and most of them are pretty darn attractive. Thus, disregard that cliche. 
most witches, natural witches, don't look like witches. Oh, and you would never be able to learn what real witches' practices are. You, don't, you would never know what their practices are. Only a small trusted circle of family friends know these secrets, and even they don't even know. Practicing witches. You see, practicing witches generally have a witch's appearance. They also boast about being witches and make a great effort to look like them. The majority of them behave in very selfish and wicked ways. They are self-centered, no matter how much they work to hide it with makeup. Evil is still present in their future. Not all practicing witches are like this, but the majority of them are. Note, I need you to note this, okay? To detect practicing witches, note how phrases and readings from imaginary planets and other sources are used by pretending or practicing witches to support their claims. It's obvious that they are not who they seem when they begin to use those expressions. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So they start saying, I see Pluto lined with Uranus and Saturn is in line in the sun or moon or whatever. When they start talking about this stuff, they're not real witches. They're practicing witches. And that's just fair. Welcome to another episode of You Gonna Learn Today. On this episode, we're talking about Tichuba the black woman who started the Salem Witch Trials. Let's go. Most of us are familiar with the Salem Witch Trials. We've all been told hyperbably regarding some accusations of witches and some being burned at the stake. It turns out this is not true. And yet there is another little known fact that has been rarely mentioned in history books. The Salem Witch Trials started over a black woman. This is the story of a woman named Tituba, the black witch of Salem, Massachusetts. Mass hysteria broke out in Salem in 1692 over claims of witchcraft and Satanism. The first person to be accused of association with the occult was an Afro-Indian woman named Tituba. Tituba was originally from Barbados and was an ethnic mix of black Africans and Arawak Indian, according to historians like Samuel Drake. She was enslaved in Barbados on the Thompson Plantation. Slave transport documents show that she was inherited by Samuel Paris, who brought her to Massachusetts. Tituba was married to an indigenous man named John Indian, as verified by the church record book kept by her owner, Samuel Paris. Tituba was the first person to be accused of practicing witchcraft by two white women, Elizabeth Paris and Abigail Williams. Tituba had a close relationship with Elizabeth Paris because she was the daughter of her owner, Samuel Paris. Tituba used voodoo as spiritual practice for divination and healing. She began to teach Elizabeth some of these practices before being accused of using black magic. After being arrested, Tituba was scheduled for trial. In an interview with Robert Khalif for his collection of papers on the trials, titled More Wonders of the Invisible World, being an account of the trials of several witches lately executed in New England, Tituba confirmed that Paris had beaten a confession out of her and then coached her on what to say and how to say it when she was questioned. After she was tortured, Tituba confessed to practicing witchcraft, which included worshiping and speaking to the devil. Tituba attempted to explain her voodoo to the hyper-religious group of Puritans. They, ironically, claimed to America to practice their version of religion without persecution from the Roman Catholic Church. Tituba repeatedly asserted that she was not a witch, but to no avail, even though there was no proof that she used any magic for harm. Tituba was sent to jail in Boston to await trial and punishment on March 7, 1692. Tituba's knowledge of voodoo, position in society as an enslaved person, and gender and ethnic background served as the basis for her being the primary scapegoat of the mass hysteria among the Puritans. By being at the intersection of these discriminatory factors, it was easy to convince the people that she worshipped the devil and practiced demonology. Here is another example of black and indigenous spiritual practices being demonized by white communities. In all, 30 people were found guilty of witchcraft and 19 people were executed by hanging, the majority of them being black. Tituba, the Black Witch of Salem, spent 13 months in prison before being sold to another slaver. Now you know. Let me just say this, all black people are witches, period. All black people are prone to sorcery, period. So this whole, did my grandmama, great grandmama, papa, great papa, it, somebody somewhere was practicing these roots. Somebody in your lineage understood the f 